present problem F. Problem F is another geometric problem of this contest uh, and uh, it is not too complicated but it has uh, some challenges related to precision and uh, using integer arith arithmetics. But more on that later. So here is the problem. You are given a set of points on uh, the plane and what you need to do, you need to find, find uh, some line of fixed width that covers the largest possible number of points. Now, how do we do this? Uh, first, let's fix one point. And uh, it is easy to notice that uh, if we have an optimal position for the line and we shift it a little bit, it's possible to find uh, two points uh, that lie on one side of this line. So, uh, in this case, for example, we have two points highlighted red that are on the, on the edge of the strip. Once we fix those points, uh, we, it's easy to compute number of points within the line. But obviously that gives uh, us uh, too high complexity. It will be somewhere in order of n cubed and n is up to 3000. So what we need to do is, uh, for every point, we need to find, uh, for every other point, we need to find uh, the angles of the line at which it enters the strip and exits the strip. So, for example, in this case, we have uh, one angle and where it enters and another when it exits. So this sector is uh, what we will call a sector of activity of uh, this uh, given point. Now if we apply the same procedure for every, every point, we will obtain some number of sectors on the circle. So uh, this sector will probably correspond to something like this and some other sectors may be overlapping uh, with it or non-overlapping, so uh, it's possible to, for them to cover larger sectors and in some cases it's even possible uh, for two points to cover uh, angles of more than 180 degrees on the circle when they are too close to each other, so a situation like this is also possible. So now the problem uh, reduces to something relatively well known. It's uh, when you have uh, some segments on the circle and you need to find a point on the circle that is covered by the largest number of segments. Uh, so uh, this can be done by sorting uh, starting and ending points of uh, the segments and uh, correctly traversing them, for example, in either clockwise or counterclockwise order. Uh, one important dif difficulty in that problem is that uh, some of the um, coordinates may be quite large and of course uh, the, well, I would say the thickness of, of the line of the strip that we want to place uh, is comparable to possible, well, if we change it just a little bit especially for points that are too far from each other, we may have um, some problems with uh, double precision numbers. So the options are either to use uh, long doubles or just switch to integer arithmetics entirely. And uh, another important thing not to forget here is that uh, there is a, d a difference between uh, between two points lying on like the left side um, of the line and on the right side. So um, it can be either processed by using ordered pairs of points. So for example, we may assume that uh, the line, line lies to the right of the oriented segment between point one here and point two 
And another option is for every pair of points to consider both uh, strips to the left side and on the right side. Other than that, it's quite a technical implementation, but uh, otherwise uh, it, it's not too long. So many, many teams have sold it already and uh, um, almost all strong teams will have sold it by the end of the contest. That's it.